So there's this clip going viral online of a dozen women being asked the following question. Do we need men? <laughs> Most answered very quickly, no. So why do you think that is? Because men are useless. Broadly speaking, I feel like men have proven largely useless, like I think in the political moment. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> love it. Y'all plan on winning a uh, manly year anytime soon? I mean, you know, our backs are getting tired. We can only do so much here, you know what I mean? We're out here winning women of the year. We're, we're, we're building everything. Everything you see is built by us. You know, we're like, oh y'all gotta pick up some slack when you gotta do something, man. Damn. We're beating you in swimming competitions. And I mean, damn. This is my prediction. I predict the first woman president is gonna be a man. I will bet the house on this. We've already won woman of the year. How many times? Like men four, women zero, y'all. Not one woman has one man of the year. As soon as that bitch gets up there, bro, and she's getting vowed in as the first woman president in the United States, fuck it, me and the boys. So we're rallying the troops, cracking open some cold ones, fucking celebrating. That's a day for celebration. That's a day, that's a day for celebration of epic proportions, you know what I mean? The first woman president is gonna be a fucking man. No, we, we keep taking these W's, you know what I mean? Left and right, we keep getting W, W, man. And the best thing about when you're getting all these W's is they're loving it. Y'all loving it, man. Y'all backing it up. Y'all supporting it. So we're just like furthering, you know, like further, further expanding our resume, you know what I mean? And the amazing things men have done, you know what I mean? It's just constant. We're just only, we're, we're, we're dominating the history books, right? Dominate the inventions, you know what I mean? Like crazy shit. Dominate. The other day I'm on the uh, internet, on the interwebs, and I'm searching around and I'm thinking, you know what? And I mean, I gotta look at what these ladies have been doing. You know what I mean? I gotta see what y'all have done. You know what I mean? I mean, we're, we're just out here dominating. It's it, y'all got to been able to do something crazy, right? So, anyways, I looked this up. I'm gonna show y'all. We're gonna look up a uh, women's invention. Already with this one, I'm telling you what this is a good one. Get ready. What I'm about to show you, ladies, is why you will never win. Man of the year. You won't be able to backstroke your way into victory in a swimming pool with us, okay? It's just not gonna happen. You can't get to man because man, we're gonna do it. You can't do that to man because man, dominate. That's what's in there and he says he's gonna take around the horn. He's gonna take down and dominate. Ah. Anyways, well, let's look this up. Women, inventions. I want to read y'all a little document today. This is going to explain why I've been able to transcend tearing down barriers, okay, into being women and becoming better women than women. Until you can become a man and be a better man than men, you know, I'm just not, I just don't think you have a valid opinion on what, you know what I mean? I just, I have a hard time listening to anything you have to say. So you can transcend genders and become a better man than any man. Become the man of the year. It's hard for me to, it's hard, it's really hard for me to be able to listen. Like, I, you know, anything you're saying, I just, it's just very hard. I see yeah, what is she saying? It's, you know, I'm, you know, you've always wondered, like, why your man's not listening to you? It's because, what are you really saying? I mean, are you gonna tell me that I, I obviously already know? I mean, you're not gonna tell me anything. I could do it, you do. And, and a matter of fact, I could do it to levels of which y'all can't even do it. I would, I would transcend up into the upper echelon of women. I would become woman of the year. I would be known as the greatest woman of that time. I would be on magazine covers and every, and, and people would be bowing before me. Lady Gaga would be holding me in her arms like she was that Dylan cat. I'd be on beer cans. The shit that I'd be doing, you know what I mean? And that's the most, see, that's the most dude shit ever. Men are so good at being women that when we become women, we're still fucking dudes, you know what I mean? It don't matter. We still doing dude shit as women, you know? This dude gets his face put on a Bud Light can. I mean, is there no more dude shit than that? That is dude shit. 
if if I told you today that look, I'm gonna look, bitches, I'm gonna become a fucking woman. All right, I'm gonna be uh, rec- I'm gonna win awards. Okay, I'm gonna be woman of the fucking year. I'm gonna be calling me extraordinary. They're gonna be calling me brave. They're gonna be calling me all sorts of shit. And then on top of that, I'm still gonna stay true to myself. And they're gonna put my fucking face, my face on a Bud Light can. Fucking suck that, dude. Suck it. That's to all the haters. So shotgun that to the dome. You know what I mean? That's what I say. Don't stop drinking Bud Light. Drink more Bud Light, dudes. Drink more Bud Light. We should be drinking all the fucking Bud Light. Shout out to that Dylan cat. Shout out to my boy Dylan. You know what I mean, dog? We did it. We did it, y'all. Shout out to my boy Dylan, bro. We went into unknown territory. They said it couldn't be done, okay? We did the impossible, okay? We transcended into realms of the unknown. These women always think they're so fucking smart. They think they're smarter than us all the time. Men are stupid. A woman would make such a better friend in it. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. We got down to enemy lines, y'all. This man entered enemy territory. He's in enemy territory, dude. And he just starts to tut. Shut up, tut. One by one. Taking them out. One by one. Ever so gently rising to the top. To eventually being fucking queen bitch. You know what I mean? What the fuck you bitches gonna do now? In celebration of men and how we're just better at everything, okay? And the fact that we can cross over, become women, get awarded for being better than women, being the best woman, still have our face on a fucking beer. What the world's largest beer, bro? If that's not some man shit, I don't know what is. That is one of the greatest accomplishments man has done. You know, man, man walked on the moon. No, man, man became woman and walked to the fucking top of the fucking hierarchy, bro. You've seen like mean girls. This motherfucker just jumped in the fucking Pull up piranhas and started fucking commanding shit like a G. This is one thing, just ladies, you gotta realize. You know what I mean? You're not gonna be able to compete. You should look up something like this. Think about what we've done, men, and what men have done. We've done electricity, automobiles, airplanes. You just defying gravity, going crazy speeds, breaking sound barriers, electricity, sewage, cities, roads, buildings, skyscrapers. You name it, yachts, boats, I mean, ships, I mean, bombs, I mean, everything you think of. I mean, we're just out here doing it all, boys. We out here doing it all. And uh, let me show you some examples of uh, what we're working with here, y'all. Here we have from history.com, nine groundbreaking women inventions. Are y'all ready for this one? Y'all prepare yourself right now for the nine, the nine most groundbreaking inventions by women. Groundbreaking inventions from history.com. This is next level shit, are you guys ready? Number one, a life raft, y'all. Okay, do y'all remember a little movie called Titanic? So, what happens when the boat starts sinking, right? Everybody gets to go off, just like Bill Burr said, everybody gets to fucking leave. But us, but us, the men. We just get to sit there and stand there, women and children, go first, while we stand there in the sinking ship. So, essentially all they've done is figure out a way to get themselves the fuck out of there. Caught us, I'm just saying. This is just an elaborate version of the fucking wooden door that Rose was on that she couldn't scoot the fuck over and let fucking Leo on, you know what I mean? This is all this is. The life raft. Ha. Huh. Selfish. Very selfish. This one, come on, y'all. Number two is the fold-out bed. The fold-out bed. And if you see this picture, y'all, oh my god. If this ain't some hoe shit, what's this, Karen? What the fuck is that? Huh? So you're over there hooking up with the help or something, and then like folding it up. Oh no, oh, no I'm not doing anything. Why are you doing it? Y'all, yeah. 
Yeah, you, you're gonna have to explain that one to me, ladies. See, this is that thing. Y'all can't be trusted. Oh my god. You know what number three is? You know what number three is, y'all? Dishwasher. Uh, that's the. We already had a dishwasher. Put this out here. Find it any way you can. Shut up, right? So far, right? You make a dishwasher so you have a little bit more time to be doing some things on your little secret fucking bed. You know what I mean? Oh. I invented this thing that washes the dishes for me so I don't have to. It buys me a little time to scurry off to my secret bed that nobody knows is there. It folds up into some thing. And if I get caught, don't worry. Bye, I've got a life raft. I'm gonna fucking sail on out of this motherfucker. And you won't catch me. And let's see. Oh, wow. And of course, what's the next one? Because God forbid. Yeah, you know, if you're, if you're not anywhere that you can take the life raft. If you're not anywhere you can take a life raft. You're gonna be stuck in your car for a while because you're not gonna have a place to stay. You're gonna have to be looking for a place to stay. So, so you better you better make sure you have a car heater. Car heater. Car heater, y'all. This is what's funny about. Oh my gosh. But, but anyway, back to the uh, dishwasher. Cochran employed servants to perform her housework in her mansion, but she started she started washing her fine china herself when she discovered some servants had accidentally chipped them. Accidentally chipped. Cochran found her brief exposure to housework unpleasant. Cochran found her brief exposure to housework unpleasant and resolved to build a machine that could wash the dishes for her. The result was the first commercially successful dishwasher, which Cochran patented in 1886. Two previous attempts at dishwashers had used scrubbers. But because it used water pressure to clean the dishes, but Cochrane's design was more effective because it used water pressure to wash the dishes. Anyways, that, that's a little story there for you. The car heater. This sounds like the worst fucking idea ever. All right, y'all. Let me tell you how it works. Are you ready, y'all? Tell me how this one. Tell me how this one's gonna pan out for you. The first person to patent an automobile heater was Margaret A. Wilcox, an engineer in Chicago. Wilcox's 1893 design used heat from the car's engine to keep drivers and passengers warm during trips. Oh, yeah. That sounds fucking... Later, engineers improved upon the idea by making the heat easier to regulate. Thank God. And that's a nice way to put it. That's a nice way to put it. Easier to regulate. Yeah. Or maybe not fucking kill you. Next one is... The feeding tube. Yes, the feeding tube. You know, was this because she got fucking sick and tired of uh, maybe her old man she was with? You know, men, we usually die faster. We got all sorts of issues because we were out here doing everything. You know, <laughs> you know creating society and going and protecting everybody's rights. You know what I mean? Going to war, putting food on the table. Anyways, let me guess. Bessie Virginia can nurse, physical therapist, inventor, handwriting expert, and possibly the first black woman to train at Scotland's Yard Document Division, who worked with World War II veterans. Vent. <laughs> so while she was a while she was a nurse taking care of the uh, soldiers that went to war, okay, they're dying, risking their lives. As I mentioned, she invented a device that her patients could use to feed themselves. So fuck, that. I ain't gonna do that. You gotta fuck. You gonna feed yourself, motherfucker. So that, that anyways, that's uh, the invention. A feeding tube. Well, I wonder what you do with all that extra spare time. Now you ain't gotta. You mean you ain't gotta wash dishes anymore? You ain't gotta fucking feed the the dude. You know what I mean? You're getting out of you. You're you're literally replacing your own jobs. You've given yourself an escape route, something to keep you warm, a secret bed, and uh, you, you eliminated two jobs. Next one. You ready for the next one, y'all? The next next one on the list is Kevlar. Yeah. Kevlar, y'all. Bulletproof vest. Because out of all the people that would need one of those, it obviously a woman would be the one. That, God forbid you get shot in the off chance. At number seven is a security system. Security system. That's right. A security system, y'all. That's right. She, she and her husband working long hours, you know. And this just seems fishy. Yeah, okay. So she invented it. Together with her husband, obviously. This one's iffy, guys, okay? She, with her husband, is an electronics technician, by the way. She's a nurse. And she often found herself coming home, alone, to their apartment. Being by herself, late till late at night. 
The system Brown invented involved a sliding camera that captured... See, they didn't invent that. Her husband, that was the electrician. Okay, but whatever. Cataract treatment. That one's good, ladies. I'll give you that one. You, you did a good job there. Um, I don't know, some type of probing. No, no, that one's good. Good one there. Good one there. And last one we have is stem cell isolation. Ah, oh, that one's good, ladies. We'll give you that one. That's a good one, you know, because that's solving a problem. We gotta be able to do something with all them fucking abortions y'all are having. <laughs> Oh, anyways, that's our little lesson for today. Nine greatest, that was them. So, let's do a rundown of that real quick, ladies and gentlemen. We've got, we've got a life raft, okay? We've got a fold-out bed. We've got a dishwasher, okay? And a car heater. And then, of course, a feeding tube. And Kevlar. So this is what I'm coming up with. I'm basically coming up with, you've got every way to either evade or protect yourself from the imminent threat of this man catching you in that weird desk bed with another man while the dishwasher's do washing dishes you should've been washing. And all the sick people are feeding themselves now. You just got all this extra time. I'm just to be on this secret little fucking desk bed, spending all your time in your secret little desk bed. I'm just gonna do a top 10, all right, on, on, on men, all right? We're gonna do a top 10 on men, are you ready? Number one, the wheel. The wheel. Car heater ain't worth shit without a car. We got the printing press. We've got penicillin. We've got the compass. Life raft ain't shit without you don't know where you're going. Lights. Telephone. They pick up a phone, people, that goes into the ground. And other people talk to other people, dude. It's fun crazy. Internal combustion engine. Number seven. And we've got uh, contraceptives. We had to come and clutch on that. Y'all be fucking around on that goddamn desk bed. Contraceptives, yeah, yeah, we caught up on that shit real quick. We're over here fucking bringing lights to the world, getting engines. We're fucking moving the world forward, literally, and lighting the way. We're Number nine, last one that I'm gonna do, just so we have a nine to nine comparison, is the internet. And the funny thing about that, too, is that you got all this extra time, and as a resourceful woman would, you guys, took our invention of the internet, took your extra time that you had now that you're no longer washing dishes and you've got all these machines doing things that you should have been doing, okay? And you're thinking about, oh, well, what about the, all that shit that I do on that little bed? What if I did that on the internet? You got tired of rubbing that fine china? Well, we rubbing vagina. And this should end the argument. We're just better and gooder at everything. This is, this is proven in our ability to transcend gender and to cross over into unknown lands and become a better woman than a woman. Better women than women. You will have my endorsement, sir, ma'am, sir. When a man steps up to be the first woman president, you have my vote because we're gonna seal this deal. And men, don't stop drinking Bud Light. That man is the face of one of the greatest achievements man has done. So if anything, you crack open a cold one, and you cheers, and you chug that shit, you shotgun that motherfucker. And if you see Dylan, and her, whatever you want to be called, bro, just know you're still a bro. You know what I mean? You're still a bro. You cannot be a bro. It did some bro shit by putting your fucking face on the beer can. We see what's going on there. Bro, just know. Okay, we know. You maybe want to be a lady and shit now, but just know. We know. And, you know, we appreciate you. We appreciate you going out there, representing men, representing men strong, and coming in and bringing home the gold, because that's what men do. We don't go in there nothing to lose, motherfucker. We go in to win. Shout out to Dylan and bringing home the victory for the boys. And let's go. Chunk that fucking Bud Light. Shout out to my boy Dylan. Let's get it, son. Bringing home that gold, son. Y'all bitches ain't shit. Get ready, because the moment a dude is a woman president, whoo. Um, it's 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 game over argument done sign sealed delivered